Hello, this is Town Here Town News Music. I'm on Create Studio 3, version 3.3.8. I'm going to start you off with a new project. I'm going to show you a background of a bedroom. And this is the one I want here. That one. As you can see, it's got two lamps on there. And what I'm going to show you is how to make it so the camera can go out to one switches it off and then goes out to the other switches that one off as well so it's going to be like a night scene right so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to reduce this slider so we've got, got up to 20 on there so 20 on there so I'm taking that to 20 seconds right then I want to copy that right I mean duplicate it sorry and so I've done that and what I need to do now is I'll need to also add a rectangle right, which is going to be there and I want that to be that the same height and put it as everything else and that's going to be just a mould shade to make it look as if it's a uh, night type right I'm going to just bring that up just like that right that's fair enough right but what I'm going to do is I'm going to for the moment I'm going to take the opacity off completely so we can see and this is going to be the darkness I'm going to change the opacity of that later right so what I need to do is I just put rename that and change that to room darkness right And for this one, I'm going to change this in a minute. When I've sorted, I'm going to change the bottom one. Name that to background BG, right? And this one is going to be a mask when I've sorted the mask out, which I'm going to do in a second. So we'll do. Um, I'm going to use the pen tool, and we're going to use up like that, and I need to want to move first so I need to move it to there what I need to do is do tag some of this off in order to do that I need to go back on the pen tool oh it's working that's fine so I'm all right sometimes it doesn't go straight on after I'm just gonna move wait a minute I need to undo that a second sorry right I'm going back on to move that back on there right I'm gonna go from here all the way up hopefully so I need from here to there I might just move that over a little bit in the middle so I'm just going to bend it slightly like that then I'm going to go over here and bend that slightly in between but you've got that too yeah then I'm going to go across there like that keep going Huh? I'm going to mask the bed as much as I can but not all of it because I don't need all that I just need the part which the character might walk by right so that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the character to walk behind the bed and I also need to do a few other things with it so I'm going to use the pen tool for something else not exactly masking but sort of create uh, a screen on the windows because the windows are going to be too light so I need to darken them a little bit so it looks like night out because uh, you can't well you could create uh, curtains for it to cover the curtains that are on but that's a lot of hassle to do that when you can just make it look as if it's dark so that's what I'm doing in a minute I'll do this first it's ain't too hard anyway it's quite easy for anybody to do really so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to there and then I'm going to go across this part of the shadow I don't want to put that shadow in and I want to make sure that shadow stays in in the right place because I need that yeah and then I'm going to go all the way down here across there 
and then from there I can go straight across in a moment so I'm going to pull that over and go over to here and then just go up there like that right so that should be okay for that now what I need to do is change the colour of that the fill to um, whatever colour it doesn't matter just put it black it don't matter and then I'm going to um, change the other part which is the where is it the border colour that's got to be completely off the opacity so because we don't want the actual border right so that'll be fine and then we're going to pull that path to as long as the image there the one that's image there that's going to be the one that's going to be matched by the path so mask image with path and there we go we have the we have the mask of the bed right so if we go back to fit now we'll move that about and you can see the bed right okay and what I might do is I might duplicate that so I'm going to rename that to bed mask one right oh, I'll put mask not mask I'll just, just come back and change the N for an M right that's that one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that right so just do that and duplicate it and then rename it to two rename to bed mask two now there might be a reason for doing this say if you can't get it matching up right with the actual bed you might need two masks right so I've done that just in case so but I can't get it to match up right after I can uh, use the two masks to cover it properly so that they're exactly the same right that's just in case next thing we're going to do is we're going to put do the pen tool on the window right so we're going to um, go up to 200 on here and go up to the window here and what I'll do is I'll start off with the pen tool and I ought to go from top really am I from there just go up from there and round that's what I'll do I'll do it from here pen tool and pen tool back on pen tool's not working so I'll try it again try again that's better I don't know why it wasn't working there, it just don't want to work. So I'm just going to scroll up. That's it now, and then, or scroll down, I should say, really. Now I need to change it to that one, and then do that. Right, then across there, like that. Then up to about there. And then we need to go up there to where that curtain part is. We ain't going to the curtain off, I'm going to get the curtain on, so I'm just going to go up a bit on this and then put, need to put that back on so I can do it. Right, and there you go. And with that one, I need to change the colour to solid there, or, or, or semi solid, so about there, say, and then change it to a dark colour. So you can see what the background is, but only just like so I'll do it a bit lighter actually. About there, right? And we need to do the same with the next one. Right, so I'll just click off that one, tick it to 20, same as the others, and then I'll go on to the next one, which is using the pen tool again. Click on the pen tool. Oh, it's gonna do this to me again. Now, click on the pen tool again, click, click, use the thingy to go up, all the way up, and then click on there, 
right down here, there you go, and then across there, up to there, and slowly take it round this one. Right, so I'm just going to take it out here. That was in the last bit. And do the same with that one in a minute. Just make that one. So I need to do, I haven't took the uh, the border off that, I need to take the border off bulb. So I'm going to change this to dark colour and then do about there, which is similar to the other one. Then you, you click down here to get it off that pit. Then you click on it and then you go to the border and then you need to change that to zero. As you can see that looks much better. And then do the same with this one. Get the border to zero on the opacity, right? So there you go. So now I've done that, I can fit it back to normal. And as you can see, it looks like it's dark outside, right? So you can see outside, but it's dark, right? So that's why they need the um, lights on here. Now I haven't turned the room darkness on yet because I need to sort out the lights. So what I need to do with the lights is I need to get the pen tool again. I might move in a bit actually, so I need to move up to about 200 and pan over to the light. There you go, that one. Now what I need to do is just slightly uh, make sure I've got the pen tool on first. Click up here, now it ain't doing it, so I'll have to click on the pen tool again. Pen tool, that's it, go down to about somewhere like that. Then across there, and up there, I need to move that in a bit, so I'll just move that in a bit like that, and then across to there. Right, that should be alright. Now what I need to do is add the colour to make it look like light yellow colour. Like that. Right, so I can do that and change it to um, gradient. And then when I get the gradient, I'm going to change that one. I'm going to turn it round. A bit like this somehow. It hasn't come on, has it? I've got to change that to up there like that. So now I've changed the gradient, you can see it's looking more like it. I need to also do something else. I've, I just noticed a problem. That needs to be straightened a little bit better. That's it. Now that looks pretty good, but I need to get rid of the um, border of the, oops, uh, undo that, sorry. Need to undo the border for that. Right, so click on that, click on that. Or to change that to lamp. Lamp one light. Right, lamp one light. And or to change them to windows below and like. Rename window one dark. Okay, and rename window two dark. Okay, so we know what they am, right? So that's lamp one. I just need to click on it a minute and get the border colour to zero. That's right. It should be on zero. Border colour it should be opacity zero. That way you don't see any border colour. Right? So that looks like it's a light. Right? And we go just zoom pit. Right, so that looks pretty good. When I, when I turn on the um, darkness, you'll see that. But I might have to move the darkness up above that, up above this, so it don't look too light. Uh, anyway, I'm going on to this one next. So 
we need to go back into 200 go across to there then I want to do pen tool on that and go this one ain't going to show so much on the actual thing it's just going to show more on where the lot's going to right so we'll do somewhere like like that distance and about there somewhere and back up to there and then back on there okay that looks about right to me and then we do the same with this so we go color yellowish color like that gradient so we're going to change the gradient around so that's the top that's the bottom there and we're going to change the opacity up to the top like that and there you see the, the color coming out of the light right and then we just um, need to do the border take the opacity down to zero and there we are so there you've got two lights on in the room right so pick that back you see the lights are on right so we just need to change that one to light lamp one lamp two light rename okay right so we don't really need these full length we need these about half length really somewhere about half length so we'll say about 10 right and maybe we do this one a bit longer say 12 or 14 somewhere around there right so he's going to get to that one first switch that one off come back around and go to this one and switch that one off right that's what the character is going to do right and um, what i'm going to do is um and just have a look at the room darkness see if we see what it looks like when i put some um opacity on room darkness is on oh that ain't right see what have we done with that oh yeah that's on that needs to go up there like right? that so as you can see looks, yeah that looks okay like that so we'll be okay with that i think right now what we need to do is get our character and we get our character from um, here we get tom I'll pull him over doesn't matter which tom character you use or whichever character you want to use but what we're going to do is just straight do some straight move, uh, walking movements and everything like that that's what we're going to do right so we're going to do walking first so obviously he's going to walk in to the room right so you're going to walk in go up there turn that off so that first movement is walking then second movement is going to be pointing action so we need second movement is pointing let's just see if he's going which way is he going let's see which way he's going first right so we need walking action it's going that way so it'll be pointing left let's just see how that is yeah that's the one right we can do that then we need him to walking but the other direction so we need to do walking again new action walking walking uh, properties flip right so from there is on that one right so we go let's start from there let's see if that's changed it it's changed it for all of them hasn't it right so that's not good what i'll do is i'll go back on there flip that back now 
go over to here and then we get get onto this one I'll have to flip it right okay so that's going back walking back just walking back to here and then it should change direction so it should come down here so it needs another walking action when it gets to there so we need walking again so new action walking and then another walking as well yeah so we need another walking action walking and last action pointing as well pointing left right so walking pointing left walking 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 pointing left and then walking again so we might need a bit more space to do this so I'll have to take all these up to 32 ish right so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down to all the ones that are big to 20 and I'm gonna actually yeah I'm gonna pull them across there holding on to the thing wait a bit I need to move it up a bit more and click and I can't get it to get far enough up that's just got them all right so now we need to change them to 32 right so just need to go about 32 with them roughly okay so that's it that's going to be long enough right so all we need to do now is sort out where he is and everything with his movements right so first of all first walking movement right start off there we go add animation position right easing linear and Resize him amongst because he's a bit too big, isn't he? A bit of that. Right, so get him there for the first position. Right, so I need first position there. Right, um, I might disable end. No, I won't. I'll just leave it. Right, so what I need to do is I need to get him to come across and go to. there obviously he's in front of the um, thingy at the moment the bed because I haven't sorted it out so that he's behind the bed right so just wait a minute and we'll sort that out in a second um, so he's, he's there then he does the pointing to switch it off so I need to go back a little and touch on there so I need to go back that way down there then that's it and that's when that one should go off there right so the first light should go off about there like that so that's, that's it so when he starts moving his hand away that's it should be off like that right okay you get that then he's got to walk from there so we so from here he needs to do new linear properties position what the hell oh I'm on the wrong thing that's why hang on um, scale linear right we need character view Right, we need character view to change, so we need to change character view from where he was. So that's going to go there to the opposite direction. So he needs to go rotated. So we need to rotate to that way. Right? Okay. And then he'll walk. 
hopefully. No, it's going to be that way, whatever it's so. There we go, that way. Uh, hold on, when he does this, it's the side will start. Alright, so that's it. So we go. I need to just that, do that a bit more rotation. Like that, yeah. Then he needs to go from there. He needs to add animation, position, and easing. Right, so we go from there to there. Now, oh no, I forgot to do something there. Disable end as well. Right, so we go to there. We need to bring him, whoops. Screw it up there a bit. Let's take that off. And bring him across to there. So he's at the end there. Right. He'll be a bit higher, actually. There, right. So, let's just see how that looks so far. Right, so we go. I mean, you should pull that back to there. So it goes. And there we go. And then you just click that off. And then it comes and turns round. Actually, that's gone a bit too much. So I need to bring that across there a little bit more. Go like that, and then it goes like that, and then it comes across to the end of the bed. Then he needs to turn here, so I need to add another animation which is linear character view. Right, so I'm doing that. So the character view is there, like that so far, and the character view has got to be turned rotationally. Right, so it's going to come this way, like that. Right, and once you've done that, let's just check how that's looking. You've just done that, and then it goes back around like that. Whoops, what happened there? Down like that. Let's just do uh, disable them, disable that. So it goes like that, and then it just changes like that. That's too far over needs to be rotated back a bit like that just do that right so let's just check that right so it comes in goes over by the bed the other side then he just switches that off and then waits for it to switch off and then carries on back then comes round the bed and it's going to come down here and then he's going to go across that way right so now he's done that, we need another animation, and this one's going to be easing linear properties character view again. Right, so he's on the proper character view there, but he needs. Oh, no, wait a minute. We... we do that first. Oh, no, I'm on the wrong thing first. He needs to do the other thing first, sorry mistake there I need to get him walking don't I so he's just changed round then he needs to walk so from there we need to do add animation position and easing linear and walk him to about there which is the walking from here that's where he's starting right and he's going to walk down to this way, like that, so that should be okay, so we just do that, right, so that's it, right, now he's going to turn, so I need to do the turn motion, the next bit, so that one's, let's just check that's all, yeah, they're disabled, and this one's both disabled on there, so I need Disable start, disable end. Can't see it. Maybe let's go across there a bit. Disable start, disable end. Okay, that's fine. And then we go. Just here. 
here. Then we need to do add oh, add animation linear properties character view again. So it, there's a character view there. That's that, that one's okay. That's that one. Then this one he needs to turn that way. So we go. Right. So when we're over there, that should be okay. So it goes that way, and then it goes that way. Then we need to just do walk into that. So position, easing linear. Now we're in this first position there, which is right. Last position is going to be that there. That's going to be, whoops, forgot to take the right tight off, over there, now hopefully when he goes to turn, there he's a bit, he needs a bit, he's slightly closer but not much, slightly closer, that's it, right, so now hopefully that should work, so we go there, and then he just catches that, that's too far, so a little bit less. Try that. That's it, so we get click. And there is where the second lot should go off. Lamp 2. Right, so we do there. Right, so if you go like that, so you just click, and that's it. I could do it a little bit longer actually, pull it a bit further over and just do click right and then he's got to walk back now so we do here so we need to do next thing which is add animation again this one add animation linear properties character view right now we need the character view from there to go rotate the other way to come out like that right oh. okay right so that's going to be like that so it does that and then you just click might be too far over I think I just need to go back a little bit more let's just try that click yeah and then it comes back and he's walking towards the door right so that's what I need to do add animation position and linear right so now we're going to put that one on top of that one and that's there and the last one is him walking out now we can go all the way across now what's up in there ah that ain't counted is it goes up there that there warning right so now i'm on a screwed all that up now yeah it's screwed it up now so need to go back on there a minute that one a minute sorry we had a problem with that pull that one across where's that one there that's where that one's supposed to be so that's supposed to be so we need to go a little bit closer but not much right A little bit closer actually. There you go. That should be it. Yeah, that's where I wanted it. And then that one, we come back, and then as he's doing that, now we need to put that one in. Put that one there. This one here. And 
this one should go okay to there. Or it does that does that sometimes you get a bit of a problem and it doesn't do what you want it to. So now I need to add my last animation again which was walking uh, position or oh, top position we go on there click on that last position oh hang on I need to do these disable disable right so he's on that position there he's gone from there to there so that's not right so I'm just gonna pull that across and there that needs to be rotated across that way then from there I'm going to click on this one and that's going to click in there this one has got to go oh whoops forgot to take off the rotate again and take it all the way back so hopefully that should be there go that way obviously it doesn't show him walking at the moment because I haven't pushed it across like that Oh, so let's have a look at that, see how that looks now. Actually, I can take him down a little, I'll twitch the mic. Take him down a little bit from there. Oh, I can do that. That's better. Okay, now we go back. going up there and then right so now what we need to do is we need to get one of these um, beds bed one and I'm going to put that on front of him in front of the character like that so obviously that the um, the darkness room darkness we've got to go on top of that lot as well Right, like that. Right. So we've done that. Now, what we what we need to do is just play that for a moment and see that it would be it's too low on there. So it needs to go higher there. Right. So we're just going to do click on that, bring him up. Whoops. Sorry. Wrong thing. Go come on. Character. Bring the character up a little bit. Keeps going off the character. Right, so I need to just pull that down. It should be there, right? Now I need to lock that. Lock. Lock bed one. Now get the character. Right, and pull him up a little bit. Like that. Right? Now let's try that. So we just unlock these in a minute. Lock, lock. Oops, we'll match that now. Screw that up. Now oh, I'm gone. Okay, now we're all right. Start again. Sorry about that. Let's just try it from there. Let's have a look. See how that looks. It's a little bit low on that thing here, but it's a bit, bit better. I might need to bring him further up on the first part. As you can see, that's oh, yeah, he needs to have that. What's it now? Wait a minute. I need to do that one, stop that one halfway through when he goes to the, that bit, right? Now, the bed mask only goes to a certain part, part look, see. So we go from there to there. Now that should be the end part where the mask is. Right. So we do that. And there you go, he's walking round it. That's pretty good. That switches that one off in a minute. I switch that one off and he comes away 
right now as you can see that that works pretty well I just need to start off with the, the beginning part where the character's got to be further up uh, higher up like that something like that and then goes to there so we'll just have a look at that see if that'll work still a bit low unfortunately which I don't like that maybe I should make him smaller a little bit I'll just make him smaller a little bit that way I can pull him up can't I whoops I've got to lock that again because it's screw driving me nuts when I do this just lock it and lock that again just click on that one just make it smaller a little bit smaller that way I can take him up a bit so he won't be over the the bed at the bottom there so I want to try that and just see now he's going to want it now but he's going past that alright so what I need to do just give me a second I'll just do this I need to pull that down from there and make sure that as he's walking he's going up higher there right so let's have a look and see how that looks like that that's pretty good I'm not far enough across I need to be a bit further over so I need to be a bit there like that that's too far I'll need to just go back a little bit let's try that that's it Moving around here to that one and let's see if we can yes, we're not touching that one now that's the trouble we could make him a bit bigger on this bit but I'd have to do, add that to it so what I'll do is maybe add it to something else wait a minute let's go to here where am I where's that one there pointing left if all he points to left Let's see what we where is it walking where's he walking there where's walking right so we need change this one from here delete animation and then add animation here position scale and linear right so from here to here we got that one so we do that's the position so we just do that put that there and we go forward make him a bit bigger and then bring him this way bring him a bit bigger then right and then put him across there like there, there right let's try that and see how that looks and then we go up here be big enough to reach out play. yeah more or less he's not far away is he so I can go click on that a bit more click it there a little bit more right so we just from there to there yeah it's, it's touching it but let's just go back very slightly that's it and try that yeah that's it okay and that's that right and that is the whole of the um, tutorial for this to show you how it works how you can do it uh, you have to keep using the locks every now and again because it, it causes a problem but um, I've helped you understood what I'm doing here and it looks pretty good but now see what you think yourself see how you can do it see if you can do it anywhere near as good as I've done it there you go let's switch that off let's come back around the actual um, bed 
and he's getting slightly big because he's coming closer to us and then as we go up here you can see you're going to reach that and switch it on click right he does that and then he goes out of the room okay i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial anyway it's a bit longer than my usual but uh, you know if you want to do it that this is the way to do it so uh, Hope you enjoyed it and please like and subscribe to Townish Music if you did. Thank you very much.